Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bettinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini, who's got some piece of wire here. <laughs> see if I give him his mouse if it makes him happy. There you go. And um, we have a fun card for you. I've been messing around with this Awash in Beauty Suite. It's just gorgeous. And um, I think I'm going to end up start restarting my online classes. And if I do that, then one of the things that I think I'll do is start with this Awash in Beauty um, set. So let's just get started. Okay. <laughs> Puccini's making a racket in the background here. Um, but this is my card. Isn't that pretty? Um, and I used the papers, and the papers from this are just great. I've been, you can see I've been nibbling out of the corners here, taking little pieces of it. Um, and I took a couple of big chunks out of this one. Isn't that pretty? Then this one is one that the dies for this set cut out, and I just fussy cut a couple of them out. But isn't that paper gorgeous? Oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. Um, and there's certainly more of it. Um, this is the front piece of the paper and it is called A Wash in Beauty and um, and I was just saying I think I'm getting ready to revive my online classes uh, perhaps in June and if I do I will get that up on my blog so keep an eye out for that but this paper isn't that gorgeous because this can just be cut here in four by five and a quarter uh, panels and used as a card front with just a message it would be gorgeous um, there's a lot you could do with that kind of paper and it's got this pretty check pattern on the back in the pink then it's got this one these little clusters of flowers with the oranges and the pinks, the yellows and the blues, and this textured looking uh, color wash in the back. Then this one that I said cuts out with the dyes, and it's got a pinkish color wash in the back. And isn't that sweet? As a pattern paper to go with any of these, it would just be gorgeous. Um, that one, I think, with this one, I think would be just stunning. Putting those two together would be kind of an interesting thing to do. Um, then there is, and that has kind of a blue color wash on the back. Then there's this one in these Blackberry Bliss and pinks and oranges again. Just gorgeous paper. And then this. And in my card, I ended up using, there's another one in the lighter colors, with this pink background. Oh, it's just beautiful paper. Now the stamp set and the die set is, um, the stamp set is called True Beauty and it has all of these images and like I said I'm pretty sure that these are these images and so these can be cut out by the die set um, there's leaves and these littler flowers in a couple of colors and just this green stem. I think those can all be cut out with the dies. And the dies have all of those things that you would expect. And then it has this amazing piece, which is cuts out a lattice. And that's what I used behind my card here. So I fussy cut out one of those clusters of flowers. And then in addition to that, I used one of the new embossing folders. And it's this one. And it's called Painted Posies. It's a 3D. And what I loved about this was that you could run this this way so that the flowers look like they're coming this way. You could run it this way. You could cover your panel completely with flowers or you could leave a goodly portion of the panel open at the top just embossing the bottom and I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like in a minute. But I used this one in my card design here and that's this material 
down here. Now I fussy cut mine out and then use the lattice work behind. I used the um, Just Because from this stamp set and You're a True Friend was pretty too with love here for you always. There's some great ones in here. And then on the inside I used another piece of this lattice work and some of the flowers and a little bit of that um, embossed idea on the front. And today I'm changing it up just a little bit. Um, so I used from here the sentiment, this die, and uh, that might be it also from the dies. Um, and then fussy cut some pieces out from the papers. So that's pretty much what I did with this. Now let's bring that card back out here again. And I have an idea that you could do this with a few less pieces and have something that's just as pretty. So I have a white card base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. Then I have two pieces of old olive and I used old olive um, just because it kind of was between the colors of the greens that I see in here because I think, just look at this, I don't think Old Olive is one of the choices in here. Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple, Mary Merlot, Mossy Meadow, Polished Pink, and So Saffron. So it wasn't intended that this uh, Old Olive went with it, but I love the combination of that. And that green seems to be in the same family as all of the rest of these. So I went ahead and used that. Now I have two pieces here. One of these is four by five and a quarter. And let's see this one. I think that what I did with one is I just trimmed it to fit behind here. And so the, the four inches works, but it needs to be five and a little bit more than a quarter, maybe five and three eighths. And then what I did was I just cut a half a panel, put it behind here, and then trimmed it to fit. So it ends up being four inches by about five and three eighths. And then you might have to trim a little bit off the top to get this kind of a look. And I thought that would be interesting instead of having the white behind here and just the green strip to do this whole piece there. So I ended up with two pieces that are at least one of them's a little bit larger than four by five and a quarter. And then my white base. And then you need another quarter panel of white. And I ran that through this embossing folder and what I did was I put my paper in here like this and ran it through that way. But you can see if you run it all the way out to here, what's going to happen is you're going to get your paper. Let me just put a piece of paper in there so you can see where you would have quite a bit of white unembossed there. And the further out this piece of paper went, you could get quite an interesting pattern or turn it sideways and only get the flowers down here with all of this being white. And I think that would make for a very interesting card front. You could do almost a white on white and just a message up here with just the embossing because this embossing is just so rich. Isn't that gorgeous? I just fell in love with this. So I'm going to show you what I did on this one with a little bit different. Um, and then I just have a strip and uh, depending on how you do this, if you do a bigger piece and then fussy cut out part, you can cut off the back to do this piece for the inside. So you don't have to emboss more than one piece. And then I fussy cut out, uh, on this one I used an orange flower and a couple of yellow ones and a couple of leaves. And then this one I have pink flowers, blue flowers, and a couple of leaves. 
And then this piece, I fussy cut out one of those clusters uh, from that one piece of paper that has nothing but clusters. And I just thought that was so pretty just all by itself. And there isn't a die for this one. So um, if you want this kind of look. The other thought I had is if you had one of our old ovals or you may have an oval in your stash that's big enough, you could just use a die and cut out this oval or a big enough punch to cut out. Oh, one of our new punches might work. New punch, which is makes kind of an interesting piece. Let's try that and see what it looks like. If we take, let's see, some of these that are already open. Let me get back to that page. There we go. So one of these pieces, and if we were to come in here, um, let's see. What I kind of want to get to is this cluster right over here, which is one like I used. Although this one down here would work too. I'm going to cut out just this corner here and see what happens if I put this in here and so for instance if I just punch this out and use that instead of doing the fussy cutting. That certainly could work. Um, and so that with maybe uh, using the die cut on the piece of paper that has die cuts to add a few little pieces around to make it look like it's fussy cut um, might just do the trick and keep you from fussy cutting if you don't really want to do that. But that would be just as pretty, I think. Uh, I'd like for it to be larger and maybe an oval and pick up more of that so if you have ovals in your stash, that would be a, a good way to, to do this. Okay, so then I used, um, I was looking for a piece that would fit my just because. What I did here was I just fussy cut out my just because, and that's real easy to do. But this is nice to have the stitch detail on it. And this one came from the Pretty Pillowcases die. It's this this right here, and I just shortened it a bit so that it fit a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Okay, so that's what that is, and I think that's pretty much everything. So let's just go ahead and start putting this together, and see what happens. All right, the first thing I did was I did fussy cut around this embossing, and it doesn't have to be you know, real close to the flowers, just to give it a little bit of interest to be a little bit different than just a full page of um, embossing. So there we have an edge, and I'm going to bring my trimmer out because I don't need much more then let's see if I measure this from the top. From the end of that piece, I don't need much more than an inch. So I'm just going to put this on my trimmer. Oops, banged my camera there. And I'm going to go in about an inch from that first cut and maybe an inch and a quarter and get that piece cut off for the front of my card. And then I have this much left that I can use for the inside of the card. And if I wanted to cut a piece that's say three quarters of an inch, I could end up with a couple of pieces to decorate the inside of my card. So 
there you go that's how I would do that now let's see I'm going to take the larger of my pieces of this I need my silicone mat and what I'm going to do is just put some adhesive on the back of this and for this I am going to use Tombow because I don't want little pieces of glue um, all over. As I was doing this, I was sitting here thinking this would have been a really good use of our sticker paper <laughs> to get that put on there just the way I wanted it. And use that instead. So here we go. And I'm just going to be very careful with that. I'm going to use a um, pretty dry baby wipe here to just push that into place. And there we go. Doesn't that make a lovely background? So now I'm going to take my piece of white here and mount this on here and we're going to see what it looks like with a green background instead of a white background. So I'm going to put some seal on the back of my front piece here and get that set on the front of my card. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Mm, very nice. Okay, so now I've got this piece which I want to trim down so that you can just see the gold edges there. So I'm going to put a little quick pencil mark here so I'm going to snip off the bottom of this piece and put this on here so that my little gold edge shows all the way around. And this just needs a, oh, just a sliver more off of it to make it fit. Okay, so now I'm going to, well, as long as I've got this glue out, and this has got such an uneven background here that I want to make sure I get glue all the places that I want it on here. And I'm not going to raise this part on dimensionals because I think I'm going to raise the flowers. Okay, so now pick it up and move it just inside so we just have a tiny green edge on that side to mimic what we've got here. And that's the beauty of Tombow, because it won't have gotten its grip completely until we let it sit for a second. So there we go. Now I've set that out so we see a little bit of the gold and the green on this other side. Then, um, let's see, I think next we would do this piece. And this is going to go up on dimensionals, and we'll see on this one by changing that background if I want to change where this sits on the card. It's kind of pretty down here, isn't it? And then you see more of the embossing. I don't know. Well, let me get some dimensionals on this and I'll think about it here. Okay, I've got dimensionals pretty much where I want them. Now it's a matter of deciding where this looks the best. I 
And you know, because it's on a green background, this looks better, I think, when it's more on some of the white. So I'm favoring down here at the bottom, backed by more of the white. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And so it'll take me a second to get these papers off and I'll get that put in place. So I've decided that I want this piece down here showing a little bit more of the embossing and a little bit more of the white behind the flowers. I think that looks a little bit better. I think this being on here looks a little bit better as well and looks like it needs a couple of dimensionals as well. So I'm thinking that looks pretty good right down here. The just because. Didn't that come out pretty? So you'll have to let me know what you think, whether or not you like it better with the green in the background or just the white. Um, boy, I'm really torn. I like both of them a lot. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Now for the inside of our card. I have my piece that is four by five and a quarter, and then my three and three quarters by five. And let me just get those put down. Right here. And then here to get those pieces set down. Then we have our strip that I cut to go here. And it looks like that just needs to be trimmed off to the five, five inch mark. And we'll add some adhesive on the back of this. And get that set into place right down this edge. There we go. And then we've got some flowers to set on the inside here. And I had also cut an extra, when I was experimenting around with this, cut this extra piece of lattice, which I think I'm just going to trim off here. And on that one, I used a smaller piece, and I think on this one, I might use a piece that's a little bit larger. So after messing around with it all that much, this is what I have left. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some adhesive to the back of that. And put that in place. Oh boy, I did a bad job of trimming on this. Right down in here. There we go. And then we have these little bits of flowers and leaves here. And so I think um, this is what I'm going to do just like this. And add these two down here on this side. I did decide this needed one little darker leaf in here. So I'm going to add a darker leaf right under there. And there we go. That is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. Um, and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. Uh, there's a great offer for joining for this month. It is um, 
your normal $125 worth of product for $99. And then you get an additional $66.50, I think, in the new in colors. Uh, you get cardstock and ink and um, uh, grid paper. And so it's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm just adding some of these champagne rhinestones to the front of my card here. And I think that will dress it up and have it be just the way we want it. Anyway, that offer is going on during the month of May. So you still have a couple of weeks um, to join. And your first minimum isn't due until the end of September. And I do work with people to help them figure out how to make their minimums. Um, and I would just love to have uh, more people on my team. Give me a caller if you want to chat about it. My information is always listed below the video, including my telephone number. So give me a call. I'd love to chat with you. Love to chat stampin' anyway. <laughs> so there we go. That's the two versions of the card today using the Awash and Beauty Suite. And um, let's see. My prize draw for the month is a $60 shopping spree on me. And... Uh, uh, keep an eye on my blog um, as I get ready to restart up my um, inline online classes, and I will be working with this suite if uh, when I get going here, and um, I look to do that uh, towards the end of June. So that's it for me, and I will be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye. Mm -hmm.